Good evening everybody, this is Nelka again and I received one message from my friend in Facebook. His name is Dean and he said, Nelka, I'm still not getting it with Evo. I opened the project and import a site plan and then when I draw an assessment zone outside the building, it defaults to office. I try to edit it but no options for external car park so help please okay so i think he's asking for an outdoor lighting calculation and he wants to have an external car park calculation so dean spring torp don't worry it's easy let's do it now so i have here my previous project is it's a sports um, complex so for example you want a car park unfortunately it doesn't have car park inside the compound because car parks are all outside i think it's a government car parking so you need to put ticket here so we will not create a calculation for that area so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you how to create an assessment zone or a calculation uh, outdoor lighting calculation for a car park and I will just imagine that the car park will be here in this side. Alright, so let's imagine that my um, car will enter in this side and then they will park it here. I don't know if the size of this area is enough for car parking. But let's just do it. So, what you're going to do is go to your construction tab here and then go to your assessment zone. And then create your rectangular space you can do it either by the plan view or 3d view so it depends so let's just do it here in 3d view so go to your assessment zone and create a rectangular assessment zone so let's imagine this is my car parking area or this is the area designated for my car parking out for outdoor and I want to calculate if I have enough light for this area because some drivers are scared to park in the dark so once you select this area now you have your rectangular blue and Dean don't forget I'm using Evo 7.1 now so make sure you you installed your uh, deluxe Evo 7.1 also so now you have your assessment zone go and label it if you want to have a proper labeling like a car park our park and enter and you will click this one generate output for this space and you will say your uh, height for the area is 0.1 or you can make it zero but make sure that the zero is really on the ground because sometimes it becomes um, no calculation if it's uh, behind the floor so just use this default it's okay it's only 0 0.01 just just to make sure that it's uh, above the floor line and then select the edit and go to your calculation areas for outdoor you will say yes it's here parking areas so go and select the parking areas and you will say um, what do you want this is a parking area for shop there is an apartment or cycle paths or parking area for department stores so select what is this for my uh, project it's a sport multi-purpose complex so i will select the third one so when i click this one it will gives you a lighting standard which you need to achieve and it says uh, 10 lux and the uniformity is only 0.25 this one is as per the cbc lighting guide or lighting standard so just select the two, that one and that is not now enough so make sure you copy this name control c and control v to this um, calculation working plane so once you create your output you will see it there in your calculation surface okay so now you establish your outdoor calculation for car park easy so when you uh, calculate it then you will have it so let's go and check and calculate it okay so it is taking so much time because i have lots of trees and objects in my design so let's just wait for this one okay yeah i have also nice playground here and uh, it has 3d objects that's why it's taking so much time 
Okay, let's go back to this one later. Okay, so it's finished now. Aha, uh -huh. and you can see now in my in this left side that my car park is woo, 92.5 blocks. So I have enough light for my drivers in this car parking area. So it's good. You can turn it off and if you want to see it in your Oh, I would like to show you something also aside from that one. See, I also created the calculation surfaces for every oops for every court swimming pool basketball court tennis court even in the playing ground i also put some uh, calculation surface just to make sure that i have enough light for that area because sometimes i do not trust the pseudo color but if you want an overall calculation result to check it go and select this one and select check the pseudo color for every areas okay so let's go to the documentation and check if the car parking is really there and if you really want to include it in your report then just ooh, what is this okay let's just uh include it so go to the edit and you can see now here that the car park uh, assessment zone or calculation uh, surface is now included oh, this is for the views okay Let's go for the calculation result. And that's it. So I found out that I have an average lux of 92.5 and my uniformity is very ugly because um, yeah, because I my light is only on the other uh, on the one side. So it's supposed to be 0.25. Yeah, so just click on the, this one and then um, it will be included now in your report. So, yeah, um, I forgot to add, uh, while doing the calculation, I forgot to mention to you that you need to also include uh, check your um, maintenance factor. So the default is 0.8. If it is outside, sometimes 0 0.7 or 0.75 is the requirement for uh, maintenance factor. But if you are using LED fittings, then 0 0.8 or 0 0.85 is fine because it will take time. Alright, so um, Dean, uh, don't worry, I will send you the link for this video, so don't worry about your project, okay? Alright, see you again later, bye!